one of the most successful and celebrated names in professional boxing is Ricky the Hitman Hatton. Well, the name Hatton is back, but this time there are different hands inside those gloves. Yep, that's right. Hatton Jr. will be stepping into the ring for his first professional debut fight this weekend in Gibraltar. So how is he feeling about matching up to his father's legacy? Please say both of them join us now. I mean, Campbell, these are huge boots to fill. How are you <laughs> feeling about stepping into the ring this weekend, but with your father by your side? Yeah, um... It is this big expectation and there's going to be a lot of eyes on me, but I'm mainly excited, to be honest. I'm starting getting bits of nerves, obviously. Uh, we're not long, uh, not long to go now, but yeah, I feel like I'm handling it quite well, just keeping, keeping myself um, busy and occupied and just really excited to get in there now. And Ricky, how are you feeling about it? You know, there must be nerves as a, as a father. I mean, knowing how good he is, but at the end of the day, he's still your son, and you know, you don't want him to go in there and get hurt or, or lose. Yeah, very much. You know, just as I thought, I've got my pipe and slippers out to enjoy my retirement. <laughs> the uh, the little fellow um, picked up the boxing gloves, didn't he? But uh, no, um, he's worked so so hard. He's he's massively dedicated. He absolutely loves the game, and even though there's going to be nerves, not just for me and his brother Matthew, who's his trainer. And the whole family that will be watching back home, it's going to be a very, very proud moment for the family because um, I wouldn't let him go into this game if he didn't think he'd have a chance of being successful. And I hope he goes on and does, uh, does people proud like I like to think I did. I mean, I wonder if um, you could equate the nerves or if they're even greater, Ricky, for... Um... And the expectation and the hope for him to do well. Is it is it greater for Gamble than it is for, for when you yourself went in? Because there's that fatherly it, it, thing, it, isn't there? It's ten times worse. <laughs> 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 well, you know, it's um, it's our job, you know, to you know, to put the brave face on, you know, and you know, so he so he feels as relaxed as possible before um tomorrow night. But um no, I mean it doesn't need me uh, to tell my son how confident that we all are in, in his ability. So it's going to be a very, very nervous night. I just hope he puts in the performance to, uh, you know, to, to do himself justice. He's worked so hard and um, it's, it's not a novelty at this. He's going to have a fantastic career. And like I said, I hope everyone gets behind him and um, it's going to be a wonderful ride like it was with me. Well, he looks like he's got abs of steel. Um... Bad as the normal. But, uh... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Ricky, when, when you quit boxing, um, you know, you did suffer with your mental health uh, and addiction, uh, but I guess in a way, you know, Campbell going on this journey has kind of given you a, a new lease of life and also a, a focus. Uh, has it made you mentally stronger being on this journey with him? I, I, I was, I was, I've, I've been in a good place for some some time now, and um, and and, and um, what I have to say, Campbell is is, is one of the, uh, the reasons when I. Um, when I look back at them, um, them bad days, them bad days, bad days, I, I nearly wasn't here to enjoy this, you know, the stuff, stuff like this. And um, it's just a message to anybody out there who does suffer and does have had problems. You know, the bad days don't last forever. You know, and I, I you know, I thank God every day that you know I, you know, I, I didn't go down that road, and I'm able to sit here now and enjoy everything that me, me son. This one, it's so this fantastic. One doing. It's so fantastic. Yeah. So, so, Campbell, look, how did you first raise the issue of wanting to be a boxer? What was your dad's reaction? Or is it just something you've always, always been around you mm. or within you? Did you start play fighting with each other? How, how, where did it come from and how little were you? Yeah, I've, um, boxing's been like a big part of my life for, like, from being born. I remember uh, going into watched my dad and Matthew train as a kid and my granddad said I've even had my nappy chains on the ring apron. <laughs> so um, it has always been a been a part of things, but it was a bit uh, later on when I decided that it was something I wanted to do myself. I was about 13, 14, where my dad had just had his comeback fight um, and that was like the first time where I was old enough to appreciate um, my dad and Matthew's career. So uh, around that time, I started doing little bits in the gym with them to just to keep fit. And then I sort of found a love for it. And 
had to convince my mum to let me go down to the local amateur gym, which took a while. But um, from the second, the second I did that, I was just in love with the sport and it's just been non-stop from there, really. And how are you feeling about the fight at the weekend with Jesus Ruiz? What do you think your chances are? Yeah, I'm, I'm really confident. Um, I think that like, everybody's saying to me, like, just how well I'm dealing with the pressure and how I, I seem so relaxed. And I think, I think that's mainly down to the fact that I've worked so hard in the past um, few weeks and everything's gone so perfect. If I, if I knew, if there was anything in my mind that I couldn't have done, uh, I've, I've done everything I could have done to uh, get where I am. So that's what makes me so confident. If there was anything I'd missed out, I might have had a bit of nerves, but everything's gone perfectly. And I know there's nothing more I could have done, which has made me so confident. Well, good luck at the weekend. Before you guys go, I mean, I have to ask, one of the big fights that people want to see happen is Tyson Fury and Anthony Joshua. And I'm wondering if you guys actually have some insight into you know, how far away we are from that fight happening. Obviously, you know, Ricky, I know that you're close with Tyson, uh, but Campbell, you're actually managed by the same company as Anthony Joshua. So what are you guys hearing? Yeah, um, I don't think it's too far off. Um, a big fight like that, is, it, it needs to happen. And like everyone's hearing that they're, they're nearly there with the contracts and things. And... Um, and they're, and they're in talks, which must mean it can't be far off. So that's something that's really exciting for boxing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a tricky one for me. I mean, Tyson's been friend, he has been for years, and um, Campbell's with the same management team, uh, you know. Uh, so it's, uh, but you know, it's, yeah, you have rival managers and rival promoters and rival trainers, but we are the boxing family, you know what I mean? And it's, you know, it's a massive fight. And it's like, for me personally, it's like seeing two of my mates get in the ring and not lumps out of each other, which is, uh, it's happened a few times in this, this this game and it's not never nice to see, but I think it's the best thing for British boxing is that it's happening. I think this is the biggest fight in British boxing history. Two heavyweights in the prime, the two best in the world, you know what I mean? It's, yeah, I think it's absolutely unbelievable and I believe they've agreed it. Where it's going to be, I don't think, because of the situation, I don't quite, quite know yet, but the one thing I think that we can say is that it is going to happen. So Who's your money on? Mm. Um, it's very hard to very hard to say. I think Tyson, just with recent form, but you know AJ's form in his last fight. You know we we, we just made you know made us remember what a good fighter you know AJ is. You know technically as well. So I I think I'd have to go for Tyson, please. I'd have to go for Tyson. I think. Just, Campbell, just are, you, are you agreeing with your dad? I'm on the fence, to be honest. Oh. Come on, lad. Uh, Come off the fence. <laughs> no, I don't know. No, I think there's just so many different ways it can go. Because um, obviously Tyson is so fast and so technically good. And then you've seen how AJ can box as well. And I don't think there's anyone better at finishing someone off than AJ. So it's just, I don't think we'll know till, till the night. Yeah, very exciting. Mm. Well, oh, thanks for joining us. Do you know what I think I saw happen there? What? Ricky gave Campbell a little jab in no, the back, you yeah. know, which is why well, he's sat on the fence. Well, you've got to remember, haven't you, Ricky? Not that you, <laughs> not you, that taught, you taught him everything you know. Uh, you taught him everything he knows, but you didn't teach him everything you know. You can always do a little hook from behind, can't you, if he yeah, needs I'm keeping in line. <laughs> Don't put weight on like Dad did. You know what I mean? Dedicate yourself. <laughs> <laughs> All right. OK. All right. Well, lovely to chat to both of you. And no sitting on the fence. Yeah, I'm good sure luck with the fight of the weekend. Bring it home, lad. Bring it home.